guys September 19th Thursday 2013 I got a call from this guy he's got a um, gas boiler the pilot keeps going out so I'm on my way over there to see what's going on we've been you know running heat over here in the winter at night because it's been been getting cold at night dropping down I think one night was like 35 last night was 50 degrees 45 something like that so been getting cold enough we're starting to run the heat now well I should be getting a lot of no heat calls pretty soon as soon as it starts getting cold out I've had some but a lot of times either the homeowners there or they're right in the next room and it's hard to it's hard to do a video you know when you're talking while you're doing a video and people are saying what are you talking what are you talking over there for so a lot of times I can't do videos but anyway we'll see if I can video this one stay tuned all right guys gas fired boiler with a water heater and they're both power vented so we'll have to see what's going on here with this complaint is this boiler keeps tripping off the pilot so we'll see what's going on with that He's got a standing pilot there. And it's still on. Check the uh, millivolts. All I do is put my screwdriver in there, wedge it down. All right, guys. I usually put it to pilot, and I put my little screwdriver in there to hold the button down so it don't go out. And I'll take this off and see what we got for millivolts. That should be fine. 28, 27. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Let's put it back together. Let's run it and see what happens. Could be that problem that they're not kicking on. Well, that should be fine. Alright guys, on these systems here, they got zone valves, so she's turning the thermostat up, it'll take 90 seconds for that zone valve to activate, and then turn the system on, and we'll see it go through its cycle, this will open, and the boiler will fire. <clears throat> we got a nice flame on that thermocouple, that looks good.
We'll see if the Paul Venter runs. Could be that the Paul Venter's not running. There's a relay in there that goes bad sometimes. <coughs> turn this up. I should put, turn the Paul Venter on. This thing's firing, so it's open in there. When it opens, it should fire. Looking good. What I have seen sometimes is if we're pulling too much draft, if we're getting too much draft over the fire here. I could pull the uh, pilot off. I'm gonna check the gas valve. I got one port out. There's another port. Coming at seven six. I like the pilot. I'm just gonna pull on with it. I want to see what my manifold pressure is going out on P two. Switch back on. And take the 90 seconds for the zone to call. And P1 hooked up to the feed side. P2 hooked up to the uh, the manifold side. On the gas valve. Three point three six, that's a little low. I just have I walked off the inlet. I'm gonna check what the outlet is. Zeroed it out. Oh 
my god, oh my god, my gas pressure's fine. I cut that damper down a little bit on the uh, call vent to like halfway. Well, that's fine. Nothing wrong there. Sometimes just turn it off and on at the pilot right here and see if it blows out. Can't see it, but it's still on. I'll have to check that. draft on that pole vent that could pull that pilot off that thermocouple and shut it off. It's looking fine. I don't see anything wrong with it. tag and that'll be it for this one. We'll have to see if it acts up again. There's nothing wrong with it that I can see. I told this guy what I did and if it goes out again we'll go into it deeper. <laughs> <laughs> 